Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and today's question and answer is what do I do when my teenager wants to be a vegan? This is a good one. Um, you have to support your teenager with whatever they're doing, whatever they choose to do, whatever they want to do at any time in their life. Um, you know, when you're young, you're at that stage where you're trying to work out where you fit in the world or you're trying to make your own decisions instead of just being just doing what your parents your teachers and everyone else has told you to do through the rest of your life so um when you come to a decision like wanting to be vegan that you know they're not 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 everyone's going to understand and um this is a really massive thing it's such a such a wonderful thing for a young child to do and um you know the best thing you can do is support them a hundred percent um, and this might also be a learning curve for you and your family and friends as well. Um, you know, not everyone's been brought up as a vegan. I wasn't. I myself went vegetarian when I was about 14 or 15 when I was at school in year 10. And I went vegan just after I finished school. And um, it was pretty hard then. You didn't have as many of the alternatives that you have now. Um, if, you're, if you're not sure where to start or what to do, just, just Google what to eat vegan or where to buy vegan products. Um, probably a good place to start if you are around a major city or close to one, go to the vegan, vegan stores that we have, vegan grocery stores. Um, if you're not near one, have a look online. There's so many vegan stores that ship to wherever you are, I'm sure. Um, and even in supermarkets, they have a lot of, in the health food section, they have a lot of vegan alternatives there. Um, when I first became vegan, I had this little book of like allergens or something like that. And it was just this book and it said what each specific allergen related to and all the additives and flavorings and stuff like that. And I just had that with me all the time. One, because I was interested and two, because I, I didn't know what um, the numbers were and what things related to animal products. So that was really helpful for me. Um, you can get apps and things like that on your phone now if, you, if you're into that sort of thing. And um, just find out as much as you can. Make sure that you're eating a well-balanced diet and that your child, your teenager is as well. This means that um, you need to maybe um, try things that you wouldn't have already tried. Um, you need to focus on the four basic vegan staples. These include beans, pulses and legumes, soybeans, tofu, red kidney beans, chickpeas, so, so many. You need to focus on grains or grain um, substitutes, like my favorite quinoa, brown rice, polenta, um, millet, um, everything, there's so many things. You've also got fruits and vegetables. I'm sure that there's a lot more vegetables and fruits out there that even you think exist. So I suggest go to your local um, Chinese supermarket, go to your, you know, another place, another supermarket that you wouldn't normally go to, an Indian supermarket we have around near, near us, and just see all the many things that you can get there and just try something. Ask them what they do with it and, you know, just incorporate something new in um, the recipes that you create at least once a week. And the other one is nuts and seeds. So so many things you can consume. Just put a handful of um, cashews in with a stir fry that you make. You can have a chia pudding, which I do every morning, where you just soak one cup of chia seeds to four cups of rice milk, for example. Just put that in the fridge and you just have a few spoonfuls of that with some fresh fruit every morning. Um, you can use almonds, you can snack on these sort of things. You could make some nice little snacks if you have a food processor. Soak some nuts, add some dates, put them all together, um, roll them up into some little balls and put some coconut on them. That's a great, really healthy snack. Good to have in the, in the fridge, put in the car on your way to pick up the kids from school or something. Um, you, need to, you need to find out why um, your teenager is choosing to be a vegan as well because you know they might not care at all about the health aspects of veganism for example they might be really really interested in you know live export that we have a big issue in Australia 
they might be interested in factory farming or their anti-battery hens and you just find out these common interests and just do your research online there's so many things just even we're on Go we're on YouTube here so just have a look at different things and I'm sure you'll find down the side um, similar things that relate to this video as well so just follow those until you get bored um, and yeah just do your research um, maybe like as a gift for a teenager for coming to such a compassionate decision early in life um, you could subscribe them to a local um, animal rights charity or a local ve local vegan charity um, you know animal liberation vegan societies vegetarian vegan societies there's so many places and there's so many things that so many people do that are wonderful in this world um, there's also vegan meetups I'm sure there's one in your area and um, just have a look online and you can go along to a, a potluck dinner where you just bring a plate of food that's vegan and you share it or you can go to a local restaurant and hopefully there's some vegan and vegetarian restaurants in your area if not you'll just have to learn how to order from the from the menu so you'll actually be able to be fed <laughs> properly but have a look at um, other videos I've done that answer some of these questions I'm sure you'll have and um, yeah just you know be willing to observe absorb everything that you're going to learn and it's going to be a massive learning experience and it's going to change your life and your teenager's life so I hope you're ready and be ready and be supportive every step of the way and it will be pain free I promise Hope that helps and make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next week for our latest question and answer.